right, I'm gonna have a little fun with some live boolean stuff. Just add some interesting forms in. Uh, so I'm gonna grab the forearm armor stuff here, drop it to the bottom, and then I'm going to head over to my maybe I've already got it here. Yeah, my insert uh, multi mesh primitives, and we're gonna grab a capsule, and I'm just gonna draw them directly on the surface, and you can see it's clearly floating way too high off of the surface there. So we know how to fix that. Let's go over to depth and we'll just set that to zero, which probably will embed this halfway in, which is probably a better look for what I'm going for. And let's just throw some of these on here. If you wanted to keep everything the same size, if you, you have to determine it with your brush size, but then once you've done that, you can just uh, begin to draw and then tap the control key and it will make sure that everything, all of your insert meshes are the exact same size. So I'm not sure if I want them to be that, that uh, regular or that size even, that's kind of a little bigger than I was going for. But we're not gonna know for sure how it's all looking until we actually enable live boolean, which means we've gotta pop these things off. So you can see they're all on a similar uh, uh, poly group there. So that means I can just go to either split hidden or I can invert and split, or you can do like a, I guess if I had my, my groups visible and this was all in one poly group, but you can see it's not, we could do a group split. And I actually want to keep it separate for a reason I'll show you in just a moment. So we'll do a split hidden. And if I just turn on the boolean operation here that will be a subtraction this is a union that subtraction and that's the intersection and then turn on live boolean you will see what we get and because this shape here is so thin we're punching right through it so the first option is i can just make these things not go that far in which might be okay but the more robust solution is to select this uh, piece of geo here and then just do an inflate on this inside polygroup. So we just make it thicker and we can do whatever we want with our insert mesh. So maybe that's okay to kind of see it in context. I kind of want there to be something over here as well. So I'm going to go back to my primitives. By the way, if I don't save it with the new depth settings, the next time I open it, it'll go back to the back to the default, so you don't have to worry about messing anything up if you decide to go that route. So we'll just repeat this step here through the split hidden. The way that live boolean has to work though is the piece that you want to be operated on needs to be above the pieces that you want to be operating. So you just got to make sure the order is all correct here. I typically like to keep stuff directly beneath where it's where it's uh, influencing and that will prevent it from uh, hitting anything else that maybe you don't intend uh, to be affecting, which is a pretty common problem. All right, I'm going to turn on my uh, local symmetry so I can shrink this down a little bit. Just try to get a nice linear-ish transition here in terms of the size. Let's try that one more time. Go ahead and center this, move it into the approximate middle of that form. So now we're starting to get this this theme, these little three notches here. And that's that's all there is to it. I mean, you can you can certainly uh build your own dedicated uh, retap negatives. Uh and I can show you what that looks like very quickly. For instance, if I wanted to have something in here that was, let's see, I'm going to need to adjust my recording once again. Sorry about that. And I need to hide the brush menu, so now I get access to my edit topology. And this isn't going to be the most amazing thing I've ever created, but, uh, oh, you know what, this is an interesting side note. If you've got live boolean on, you will not be able to see your retop. So that can be a little bit of a challenge. We'll just go ahead and disable it. 
So I'm just going to try to find some whatever, some like shape that somewhat complements what's happening here. All right. Okay. So let's hit A. We'll turn solo on. And here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, make it a poly mesh 3D. We're going to hop back to where we were. Tap A and delete the topology. And then I'm actually going to select this piece of geo because again, I want my negative to be directly underneath the thing that it's acting on. So rather than hitting append, we'll hit insert this time. And I'll grab that geo. And then we can just do our standard, looks like it's probably flipped. So I'm going to use, uh, we'll do a little extrude on there. And I want this side, not this side. So we'll just do a mirror and then a mirror and weld here in modified topology. And we'll flip it. Let's go ahead and add an edge here. We'll use insert. And you turn on symmetry, so tap the X key. We'll put this onto its own polygroup, do an inflate on the, let's see, which side? Gotta make sure you're, yeah. Uh, cool. So I want it to be poofing in here. So I can either, I don't know if poofing in is the right word, but I'm pull this surface out. We can do a crease polygroup. And I probably need to crease a couple of these corners here. Whoops, for some reason it doesn't like my symmetry. Let's try another mirror and weld. Still doesn't like that. I'm just gonna delete one side of these. I don't know what the problem is there, but it's no big deal. We can just do a mirror when we're done. And we'll set our crease sub or, uh, crease level and smooth subdivisions here. And probably like one more. I'm just going to insert so we get it a little bit softer. And then it needs to rise out of the surface just a tiny bit. Make sure all these edges here kind of make sense in terms of where the, these features are showing up. All right, let's do a mirror and weld. Whoops, let me turn local symmetry off. That might have been what was going on. And then we can just come over to the item here in the subtool list, enable live boolean, and there you go. Right, like I don't know, maybe that's dangerously mustachy, but you get the point. Wouldn't be too difficult to think that through and a little bit more thoroughly and uh, generate some interesting cutouts to add even more detail to the geo. So I'll probably add some of the stuff, just simple primitives poked in here and there, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, take a quick tour of that once it's done.